Hello everybody, Gary from Journey Before Destination Overlanding here again at you. Uh, as you can see, I'm back home in my office uh, down in the basement. And you can see I've also, this is the original model that I showed you a while back, shortened up. I uh, changed the tops to 2x2s two to save some weight here. I uh, did a couple other minor modifications to it. And as you can also see, I've created a shorter version. Uh, this one here, the big one, was 14 feet from here to here, from the beginning of the back trailer to the back of the trailer, plus another 4 feet on the end of it, which made it 18 feet. I took this one and made this 4 foot and made this 10, so the total length is essentially 14 feet from here to here. It'll be, <clears throat> while not as comfortable as the larger as this one will be, in the end, this one will be much more portable off-road. I could take it on the small, uh, smaller trails, uh, on rock trails, and so forth. So, I'm going to build this one first. <clears throat> then I'm going to build the bigger one. I decided this because I really want something I can drag out into the middle of nowhere with me. And that, while I can do it, is going to be a lot of a challenge for the Jeep to drag through anything heavy-duty. This will not. Uh, as you can see, I've these are all 45s, whereas the other one was not at, exactly at 45s. I think I'm going to change this to angle, which is right now at 45 right here. I'm going to change it to a little bit more, maybe a 60 degree angle coming out here. So this extends out about that much further in the back. Uh, I want to get more space here. There's enough space here, just shy of a queen size bed. I want to make it just long enough for a queen size bed back here. Uh, the water tank still fits in here. Uh, it's it's a little tighter, but it still fits down in there, which is where it's going to go. Uh, the batteries will still go up in front. I'll have a door here, be able to walk in and walk around here. Bed will be here. Uh, I haven't quite... I'm probably going to have access uh, to the kitchen in the front instead of the back like I had in the other one. Or I'll turn it 90 degrees and slide it out this way, maybe in between the these two stanchions. I haven't decided. That's some, a few things I need to decide on the next day. Uh, I'm probably going to start building this within two weeks uh, from now. Right now, it's I've got a couple things to do in the next week or so. Then I'm going to be up north for the Wicked uh, Jeep Southeast Michigan chapter uh, spring cleanup in West Branch. Uh, we're going to be up there at exit 222, and we're going to clean up. We usually get two or three 40-yard dumpsters full of, dump, uh, of trash and a good dumpster full of... Uh, uh, tires all off the trails up there so that people can continue to use them make the DNR happy. We wish people wouldn't dump out there, but there are people in the world that just have absolutely no class whatsoever and go out, trash the campgrounds, trash the trails, and it's up to us as responsible uh, off-roaders, jeepers, overlanders, just in general recreation, hikers, doesn't matter what you are, to keep the areas that we are allowed to go use uh, clean and free of trash so that's what's happening not this coming weekend of thanksgiving but the weekend after uh also i'm back here with athena who's not down here i wanted you to meet her but she's not here right now uh give her a whistle see if she can come down <whistles> athena <whistles> she might come down she might not we'll see if she does i'll introduce you to her uh but like I said, I'll be gluing this in the next day or two. You can see it's pinned together right now like uh, that one used to be. Uh, this one's now, the entire bottom's pinned. I still have to do the cutouts here for the uh, for the wheel wells. I have to make sure that this is all exactly where I want it. Then I'm going to glue it. Once it's glued, obviously the pins will come out. I still need another piece of wood. I have to go buy one because I ran short uh, 2x4 for this uh, to go on this side. And as you can see, this one's going to go all the way back, and it's actually going to join up with this first stanchion here. On the other one, if you look at it, it went back, and it joined up before it got back to here. This one's going to go back to here. And also, you'll notice the tongue stops here on this one. Uh, this one, I took it a step further, and the tongue bars go all the way from there all the way to the back here. So it will have solid pulling from here to here, and I'm going to put D-rings back here so that you can pull this backwards. I may even set it up so you can put a winch right in this area right here. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a 9,000 pound winch back here to pull the whole rig backwards. And with this being run all the way through, it'll have enough strength so if we pull on it this way, I'll be able to pull it out backwards. 
So that's the game plan with this. Uh, sorry it's been two weeks since I've got something out, but I've been busy moving back here, uh, trying to organize my desk. As you can see now, it's a little bit more organized. Um, I've got a lot of firearms I've got to go through and fix up. Those are uh, a couple of them that I'm working on right now. And my other ones are in the other room in the safe. Uh, all of my camping stuff is behind where the camera is. I'll show that one of these days. Uh, that's where I store all of my overlanding, my videography, my camping, my cooking, and all that is back there. It's still kind of disorganized from having come back in a rush with the dogs. And the work year for me is starting since it's warming up and grass is growing and trees are growing and all that stuff. So uh, I've got one more year or two, one or two more years of doing this until I'm ready to actually get on off-road you know, full time. And we'll go from there. So I will be back another day with much more uh, progress on this. I'll be able to sit down tomorrow evening and actually work on it. I'll put that in uh, you know, the slow-mo for you. Uh, or not slow-mo, the time-lapse so you can see me working on it, gluing it and so forth, getting it all set up, getting it leveled, squared. And then we'll go from there. Okay? So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, and I've got a Patreon on there if anybody's interested in donating it's only a couple bucks a month uh it would help the cause of being able to build this trailer and it would also help the cause of me getting out of here and going over there more so anyway like subscribe share hit that thumbs up button and i'll talk to you tomorrow evening have a good night